Hi guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Mac 10 Video Converter Pro version 5.5.5. Now this is a video converter and more, and you will see why. So let's get into it. First of all, this is the interface that you're greeted with, where you can add videos, add a slideshow, download a YouTube video, uh, set FaceTime to record your own video that you would like to record like a tutorial or something with yourself screen recorder and clear all your projects all right and before I start uh, meddling here with the settings I will show you what exact features you will get when you're adding a video so let's add this video one more time you can drag and drop or just simply go and add your video right there and I will add one of my videos right here exactly this it will analyze and ask you what kind of profile you want to add right here so you can pick from general profiles mp4 videos MOV QuickTime format and all sorts of devices like iPhones iPads you can add your specific device if you have iPhone 5, 5S, 4S uh, 6, 6 plus, whatever, you can just choose your device output and you're good to go. How nice is that? And I invite you to check out all the other features right here. And we have some more, so all sorts of devices. This software does not discriminate even... We have Vimeo, we have YouTube, we have PC profiles, Mac profiles, DVD profiles, and HD video profiles, right? So check these out, and I'm sure one of them will fit your needs, right? Okay, and before I close this, I noticed that we have music profiles as well, so you can convert your audio files to your liked format. All right, let's go on. And in the right-hand side, we have settings, and we have check for updates and the about that you saw earlier. So let's go into the settings a bit. You see the audio language setting is here. You can check all these right here. If you want, for example, to shut down the computer after conversion, you can set the check for update to whatever you wish. Your path for video folder and snapshot folder. Now, i am added my own video which I created. And let's see that you can uh, check your information at frame size, codec frames per second etc then you can rename it if i want to rename this if i want to upload it since i'm a video creator and i can edit this so this is the important feature all right so you can see my intro was right here it started i can basically scroll Start everywhere whatever you install yeah so uh for some reason I can hear the audio, no idea why. I just put it to audio volume zero, but it still can hear that. Uh, sorry about that. Well, the main important thing is that you can set a subtitle right here, an external one or a built-in one, whichever you have. You can trim the video, so you can yeah. enable no. trimming. And uh, since we can enable trimming, we can trim it all the way down or up or whatever now you can also crop the video so you can make it a smaller size right here you can drag it drop it whatever my video is full hd so i can basically make it smaller 720p for example and the interesting feature is if you're a content creator you can add a watermark now, why is that important? For example, someone wants to steal your video, upload it on their own YouTube channel, and make money out of it, right? So you don't want to do that. But it's also good for branding. For example, this is my icon I use for my channel, or I can use a text like this. And you can expand this and put it anywhere you want in the video, make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever you wish and then just press apply to all and done also an interesting feature is that you can rotate your video as you can see here or mirror it 
So uh, whatever mishap happened when you recorded your video, you can correct it with this. All right. And let's see the other features. Now, for example, from YouTube, it's very easy. Just need a link right here. You can paste, analyze, and whatnot. So basically, I'm going to do that. I can uh, check out my own videos and this is the website of the nice little app let's go to my uh, videos one of my videos right here I will get the link to that and um, get right into our tutorial right so I have here the settings which you are all familiar with all right just copy and paste this okay and let's go to our little section paste and analyze all right so it takes a bit of a time and you can see you can check here which resolution and size you want to download all the file formats right in the right hand side section and Basically, you can download for almost any device right here. So these are the file formats and also the video size. You can choose whichever you wish, right? Okay. Now, if I exit this, I can go to uh, FaceTime maybe, and then uh, I can do a screen recording. I cannot show you right now the screen recording because I am recording my screen. So I encourage you to check that out. If you don't have a screen recorder, this might do just as well because it has lots of good features, watermark and all the uh, above mentioned features. So I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Uh, leave a lot of comments, share this video with your friends and whatnot. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.